Hello again, gang. Welcome back to another Football Manager 2023 experiment with me, Jay Wower. And today, we're looking at professionalism. Get straight to it. Yes, here we go. So, gang, we've got two players. We've got professional Paul and unprofessional Ulrich. 90 current ability, 200 potential ability. Exactly the same attribute breakdown. Except one for professionalism. For Ulrich, 20 for professionalism for Paul. We've seen in some of the other experiments that I've done on the channel how important hidden attributes are. And today I wanted to showcase professionalism. Perfect potential ability. The rest of the hidden attributes are perfect. Exactly the same ballpark where they're starting from. 90 current ability, so they've got a long way to go. Can they both get there? Who will get there quickest? All these questions that will be answered during the experiment. So yeah. Without further ado, let's jump forward one year, see how we're getting on. Instantly, instantly, we've seen an absolute whitewash. Ulrich is at Schalke, and he's moved from 90 to 94, whereas Paul is at 108, and he's at Chelsea. Did not play, but he played quite a bit for the youth team, and here's Paul then. If we're going to compare him with Ulrich... Yeah, Paul's the green, Ulrich's the blue... Only jumping reach for Ulrich has got better. Paul's put on a few pounds. Maybe strength. He's improved all round, to be fair. But interestingly, professionalism is showing straight off the bat to be super important. Yes, you could argue that Schalke have not got as good training facilities as Chelsea. But Schalke are a pretty decent side still. You'd still expect, I mean, already 4 and 18 14 difference in terms of attributes plus Ulrich playing here for Schalke B is actually playing games so he's actually getting game time which again is quite important although the most thing in the most important thing early doors is training so as you can see instantly professionalism is having a huge impact Paul is on 108 and Ulrich's only on 94 there's a 14 difference between the two players and Ulrich has barely improved one jot okay you could argue that Paul has got better training facilities at Chelsea, because I'd say that Chelsea's facilities probably are better than Schalke's. Can look, though. Excellent training facilities, excellent youth facilities, excellent academy and excellent youth um, recruitment. Chelsea, state of the art. So they're, they're a little bit better. Oh, Luis Enrique in charge. A little bit better, but it's not massive. It's not massive. So 14 difference is, is huge in my eyes. So we're going to jump through three more years now and see how they're getting on as they're about to hit their 20th birthday. But before we do, the quick ask, do it all in one breath. Subscribe to the channel if you like this kind of content because there's lots more experiments like this on the channel. And yeah, like the video, comment down below of any experiments you want to see, anything you think about this experiment. And I'd love to hear from you. Yeah, I'd love to educate. I'd love to be educated by you guys as well. So please subscribe to the channel. Cheated there, took a second breath. But yeah, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and yeah, get involved down in the comments. Tell me what you want to see. Go and have a look at some of the other experiments as well because there's a lot on there and there's a lot more coming. Three years then. Oh, wow. I don't even know what to say. Paul is at 162 out of 200. Four caps for England. Two goals. He went out on loan to Reading, tore it up in the championship. He's now scored 15 in 23 games for Chelsea. 20 of them starts three from the bench. Getting a 7.39 over his career. Whereas Ulrich barely improved at all. Bayern Munich took, took a chance on him after a semi-successful season with Schalke. Two million pounds they paid for him. Threw him straight in the reserves where he got 23 and 34 to be fair last season. He actually had a great season for them. But if you look at the comparison, there's not even a comparison to make, is there? Paul and Ulrich. They've both been trained actually as cams as well. Didn't notice that. The, the, both teams have retrained them as uh, central attacking midfielders. Unless I did that at the start. I'm going to have to go and check now. No, they're both strikers. The, 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 the disparity here. Professionalism seems to be an absolute pillar of an attribute when it comes to uh, development of a player. You, you can't even argue now saying that 
the Ch the Chelsea facilities are so far superior than Schalke's because he's now playing for Bayern Munich. Oh, they've only got superb, not state of the art. I think Ulrich is in a great environment where he should be able to improve far more than he has done. His goal record isn't that bad, but to be fair, he's playing at a worse level, like, like the regional German leagues. He was playing in the Bundesliga for Schalke, though. Anyway, Paul then. It's Man City have won the league every single year of this experiment. Get him in the conference and get him gone. Get him in the National League. Transfer embargo. There's an experiment coming soon. I think someone's already made the database on the Steam Workshop. Go and play through it. Try and get him back to the Premier League. Who cares? Try and keep him down there. That's the, that's the challenge. Keep him down there. Don't get sacked. So as we, as, we, as we saw, yes, he's playing for Chelsea. He has got four caps for England and two goals. Nine under-21 caps and nine goals as well. The Paul is really starting to flourish. Described as a wonder kid, Ulrich is just described as a striker. And he can play Cam as well. Media really can't be bothered, can they, with, uh, with Ulrich? They're like, Ugh. Sorry, sorry, what's that? Paul? Oh, wonder kid. That's how we describe him. So, so, sorry. Ulrich? Striker? I'm not bothered. Don't like he's bothered. Get out of here. Bit of acting for you there. His professionalism is still down at one. He's actually lost sportsmanship to go down to 19. What we're going to do is I'm just going to quickly add manager. So he's got all these. And unfortunately, he's, he's not. you can't really see the unprofessionalism in the attribute card. If we go in there, if we change professionalism to 20, you've got the little professional icon here. You take it away. It goes... It's even a positive, as light-hearted. It's really a negative, isn't it? Anyway, we're in 2026. Time for a five-year jump, gang. Now, Man City and Man United both want Paul. He's on 400 grand a week at Chelsea. 199 out of 200. Ulrich playing for Hamburger SV. 134 out of 200 on 56 grand a week. Worth a bit. 27 to 80 million. Bayern Munich cut their losses and sold him for 34 million pounds. I'll be honest with you, Bayern Munich never really gave him the time of day. He did, he's always done pretty well for Bayern 2, and he's gone out on loan a couple of times. And now for Hamburger in the Bundesliga, he, went, he moved in January. Three goals in 16 games, but 14 of those were from the bench. So give him, give him credit, and then he scored 13 in 29. Not bad. Not bad. He's shaping up to be a decent player. If you saw this guy, I mean, his price tag would put you off because he's, he's, he's distinctly average. But if you picked this guy up for free as a Premier League side, you'd go, you know what? He looks all right. He looks all right. Look at his attribute details. His professionalism has risen to two. Oh, the media is still describing him as a striker. They have not changed their mind in five years, despite the fact he can play central attacking midfield. Paul, on the other hand, well, this was... This was the main course for this part of the experiment, wasn't it? 63 goals in 58 caps. Absolutely unbelievable in terms of his attribute breakdown. He's 199 out of 200, so there's not much more to improve. 18 finishing. Great decisions. Great off the ball. Physicals through the roof. He shrunk. 6-2. Oh, no, they're both 6-2. His career at Chelsea has... Oh... 157 goals in 231 league games, 40 assists, 54 player of the matches. Look at this, almost double figures for all three columns. 38 games, played every league game. Nine player of the matches. Now he did play 14 games in continental competitions this season and get three player of the matches. 17 goals in 10 for uh, internationally. So in terms of the Premier Division, have Chelsea won it? They've won it once. They've only won it once. Yet they've won three Champions Leagues in a row. 24-25. Was he playing then? Frank Lampard's Chelsea manager, again. So he was actually on loan at Reading the first time they won the Champions League. Then he, he won it two more times the following two years. So before he was at the peak of his powers, to be perfectly honest, Chelsea won their three back-to-back -back Champions Leagues. Then Arsenal have beaten United recently and City beat United. United. So United beat City... And then exactly the same fixture 
a year later, City got their revenge and Arsenal just beaten Manchester United. I am trying to make these experiments a little bit shorter. I don't want to pad them out for the sake of it. So I'm going to jump forward through five more years to the 30. And here he is. He's still there at Chelsea. £425,000 a week now. He's still wanted. He's wanted by PSG this time. Don't you do it, Paul. An unprofessional Ulrich. He's, he's out at Hertha Berlin. He's moved from Hamburg SV. He's... 139 out of 200, so he's never even got anywhere near. Never got anywhere near. He made a million pounds, did Amberg SV. And he did all right for them, to be fair. And he's done okay for Hertha Berlin. I mean, God. A lot of, a lot of appearances off the bench there. Yeah, he's, he's coming off the bench a lot. He, he started a lot here. He's scoring a goal every other game. He's not bad. Do you know what? For, for his attribute level, his, his goal return isn't, isn't terrible. Which is what is baffling. He's gone up to four professionalism. He's lost a hell of a lot of ambition. And his sportsmanship still down at 19. 145 in 356 games. Not too bad. A lot of those are a lot of games he's coming off the bench. Is he playing central attacking midfield a lot? Who knows? 134 and 110 then for Paul. Has uh, Ulrich been captain in by Germany? Yeah. 5 in 11. Not bad. But not as good as 134 and 110. I think his finishing's gone up to 19 from 18, hasn't it? Oh, he's lost acceleration. But yeah, his career stats, he's absolutely smashing it. Over 20 goals a year for the last few years, except he's, he's not missed a league game for a few years, and he's missed six this season. Must have had an injury. Must have had an injury, because he barely missed a game for the last few years. Plenty of goals, plenty of assists, plenty of play with the matches. All has been... Phenomenal. Let me see then. In terms of the Premier League, they have not won another Premier League since. Do you know what? They've not even finished in the top. Oh, they have finished in the top three. In the last five years, they've come in the top three once. That's rubbish, isn't it? Sixth. Newcastle have just won it. Newcastle won it on goal difference, having drawn the last three games of the season. And Liverpool lost on the final day. What a, what, a, what a dramatic um, end to the season. Endrick at United here, as you can see. Very good. Endrick watch. We go and have a look at... We, we happen to see Endrick quite a lot in these experiments. Uh, always have a like, little click on him. Chew many down here at United as well. Anyway, we are digressing. Getting away from the matter at hand. What is the matter at hand? Chelsea being rubbish. That's the matter at hand. Five Champions Leagues for Chelsea. And in the last five years, well... United beat Newcastle in the final. Newcastle getting to the final. Arsenal versus Chelsea for two years in a row. Chelsea coming run up twice. Newcastle then beating United. And Liverpool have beaten Barcelona. So Newcastle have not only won a Premier League, they've also won a Champions League. Fair play. And since the start of the save game, Chelsea have won a singular FA Cup. Chelsea have won a Carabao Cup, beating Plymouth Argyle, who are currently bottom of the Championship. Just been relegated from the championship. I mean, could not have been an easier final. One. 33-34. Where, where were they? They finished 19th in the championship. So, Paul's there. He's done it. He's the best, one of the best in the world. Is he going to leave Chelsea? Ulrich. Can't see him getting much better than 139, to be honest. It's a dismal career. So, to keep this a bit shorter, I'm going to jump through to the end of the career. See how they've been getting on. See if they've moved. See what has happened, really. Uh, check Ballon d'Ors. Check in international um, records in terms of who's won the international tournaments. Of course, we will be checking if Ralph Hasenhutl has been the England manager. And then we'll jump forward again and see if they become staff members. So, yeah, let's jump forward and see when they both retire. All right, so Ulrich's gone. Paul's still here at Chelsea in 2042. No, he's still buddy there. Still there at Chelsea in 2043. Right. So Ulrich, in 2042, he was gone. 2043, I couldn't even find him on the database, so he didn't even become a staff member. He's at Sporting, 119 out of 200. Paul, still at Chelsea, 189 out of 200. Looking at Ulrich then. Hertha Berlin, he's he still got over sevens. He still did all right. He's, in his career, I'm in the way. Let me move. 7.20. Overall for his career, 45 player of the matches, 52 assists, 190 goals in 493 league games. He's not done terribly, I'll be honest with you. But the player he became, which was average at best, he did all right. He moved from Firth Berlin to Rennes for free. Had three 
semi-successful years in France. His third year in France was less than ideal. He's gone to Sporting CP on loan. And this is going to be it for him. This is the end of the line. He has got 12 caps and 5 goals for Germany. His milestones. He's been in Team of the Week a lot for Rennes. Lots of Teams of the Week. 2027 Euro Under-21 Championship Golden Boot runner-up. Best player as well. Seasonal best 11 for Germany. First international goal against Portugal at 24. First international cap against Cameroon at 24. He won the DFB Pokal with Bayern Munich. What? Broke the Germany record for the most player of the match awards in a season with two. Not really a record, is it? Getting two. Became Hamburg SV's record signing having joined for 34 million. I thought it was more than 34. 34, he just says. There's 40.5. Must have been add ons that got added on, maybe. I don't know. Right. Unprofessional Ulrich. You're gone. Ta-ta. Let's jump forward through to see what Paul does. Right, so I've simmed forward. I was in... I, I'd only simmed to 2043. And he was still at a club. Still at Chelsea. So I've just simmed just over a year. He didn't become a staff member. 156 caps and 188 goals. He spent his entire career at Chelsea with a one loan move to Reading during his, uh, during his spell. I am going to jump backwards, though, because I do want to um, look at all these individual accolades as well. Look at all that. Uh, I'm going to jump back because I want to see a season-by-season -season breakdown. I want to see his overall rating. Right, so he's basically he's about to retire. He's on 183 out of 200 still as attributes. A 7.59 overall, 136 man of the matches, 111 assists, 412 goals in 650 appearances. But if we look at the actual... Shortlist, we see a total of 639 goals in just over a thousand games. So, and a goal every two games is not great, but it's still a pretty good record, to be fair. Still a pretty good record. He has slipped away in terms of his physicals, but look, he's 36 years old. That's always going to happen. Frank Lampard has been in charge of Chelsea for how long? 12 years. John Taylor was caretaker after Graham Potter was sacked. Luis Enrique was there for seven years and then 12, nearly 13 years for Frankie Lampard. They are fourth in the Premier Division. They have not won the league in well over a decade. Newcastle coming through, Liverpool and Man United in the last 10 years. Two Champions Leagues for Newcastle, but another runner-up for Chelsea. Another runner-up against Newcastle for Chelsea there and runner-up against Liverpool. The Chelsea... He, whilst Paul was there, Chelsea won it three years in a row. Paul was on loan in the first season and he was there in the next two. But since Paul became one of the best players in the world, Chelsea have come runner-up five times in the Champions League. No more FA Cups, no FA Cups at all in the last few years for Chelsea. And yet the Carabao Cup in 2033-34 was the last time that they won it and that was against Plymouth. We've already spoken about that in this experiment. So... Paul, in terms of his club accolades, he could have gone to a better team. He chose badly when he chose Chelsea because they've not been the best. Promoted from the Skybet Championship via the playoffs, won the Champions League, won the Super Cup, won the Premier League, won the FA, no, FA Cup runners-up. He's won the World Cup with England. Right, let's go to England then. In terms of past winners then, Germany, Holland, England have won twice. England have been in the final last four times, beating Brazil twice in a row and losing to Holland and then Germany respectively. Portugal and Brazil won the first two of this experiment as well. Going back. Oh, we nearly got there and we nearly forgot. Death, taxes and Ralph Hasenhutl as the England manager. Stamp them bingo cards, guys. He's there. Ralph, for nearly five years between 2027 and 2032. Of course he was there. Of course it happened. Ralph Hasenhutl. And there was a Euros in 2028. The 2028, 2030 and 2034 were the international tournaments. Who else won the Euros then during this, during this tenure? Germany actually did in 2032. I wonder if he was in the squad. Ulrich, World Football of the Year then. And yeah, look at this. Erling Haaland and Kylian Mbappe in the first few years. But from 2031 to 2037, six, seven years in a row. Seven years in a row, professional Paul. Jean-Claude Toussaint-Jean. <laughs> Jean-Claude Toussaint-Jean. What a player. What a name. Hendrik for United. D 
did actually nick it. He's at 36 years old now, is Hendrik, and still doing pretty well. Playing more as a striker. He's, it's amazing how sometimes he play more as a winger, sometimes as an attacking midfielder. But yes, professional Paul has won the World Football of the Year a lot of times. Um, NXGN, professional Paul down here, did get it. Under-21 Football of the Year, again, three years in a row for Paul. Golden Ball. Again, Paul absolutely demolishing the competition. And that's about it. Well, there we have it, gang. That is the end of the experiment. I hope you've enjoyed it. That, to me, shows you how important professionalism is. And unfortunately, very difficult to tell on the little icons. And as you saw, how bad Ulrich was compared to Paul. They had everything else going for them. Chelsea was Paul's club. Bayern Munich was uh, Ulrich's club for quite a while. So you can't say it was clubs and it wasn't the training facilities. You would expect, you would expect a player... Well, we've seen it. We've seen the players um, at much worse teams than like Schalke, Bayern Munich, Chelsea, Hamburger, wherever they were. We've seen teams at lower leagues, in the lower league, sorry, get the players up to those levels, even with the bad facilities. So maybe this, maybe maybe an experiment with facilities. That could be the next one. It's not going to be the next one. It could be one in the future, though. If you've got any ideas, like I said earlier, please do let me know down below. And if you're still here and you've not subscribed, come on, get it done. Thanks very much, guys. Take care. Hope you learned a lot. I hope you found this informative. Hope you found it entertaining as well. Let me know down in the comments any like things you'd like to see. I've got a few ideas myself. So yeah, take care, guys, and I'll see you soon.